Hi, my name's Dr. Vicky Selby. I'm a clinical psychologist and I work for the Cheshire and Mersey Specialist Perinatal Service. Today I'm going to be shining a spotlight on what is perinatal mental health, the importance of this during COVID-19, and hopefully offer you some help on how you can ask questions to help and support mums, babies and their families. When we think about perinatal mental health, we're referring to the maternal mental well-being of a mum from conception up until her baby being one year old. We know that this is a significant life-changing event, both practically, emotionally and physically for many mums. So it's no surprise that up to 20% of mums will experience perinatal mental health problems. Sadly, this still remains life-threatening, with suicide being the leading cause of death of a mother from conception up until her infant being one. We also know this is a very important period of time for a baby's development, emotionally, cognitively, socially, as well as physically. The experiences of perinatal mental health problems may be varied, with some mums experiencing adjustment disorders, anxiety, depression, intrusive thoughts or obsessive compulsive actions. We know some mums can have a very frightening experience in losing touch with reality, which we would often refer to as postpartum psychosis. In all of these perinatal mental health problems, the relationship with the baby can be changed to a point which can cause distress to the mum. And talking and thinking about that with a mum is imperative and important to the work that we do as specialist perinatal mental health services. Expectations of motherhood can be filled with myths and mystery. And actually, they can be very different from the reality of having a newborn baby or from being pregnant. We often hear birth is always worth it. And it's the most joyous time of your life to have a newborn baby. For some mums, this isn't true. And giving space, permission and normalising that this doesn't always happen can be important in supporting a mum during her perinatal mental health. When we think about specifically the context of COVID-19 and perinatal mental health, we can view a few different areas. It's a collective trauma being part of a global pandemic. Many people feeling worried, anxious or scared as the norm. A sense of lack of control and helplessness over some aspects of life. When we think about this trauma, we can also think about how it can reactivate traumas from the past for many mums. And actually, it can be really triggering for different and difficult events that they might have been through. Some of these events still might be unspoken about or unknown for many mums if they occurred during childhood. And remembering that a collective trauma and re-emerge trauma symptoms can be very important. This can often be a challenge in times for many mums because the home environment has changed so much. The home that once was filled with joy, playfulness, rest time has become a space of work. Multiple children of different ages and developmental needs, everything happening under one roof during lockdown periods. For some mums, they're juggling other commitments such as work arrangements alongside childcare. They may also have partners at home that are also juggling work arrangements, the expectations and pressures that can come with this. We think about childcare arrangements with some nurseries, schools and childcare provisions closing or ceasing to exist for periods of time. And also the detachment from social networks, from not having the mums and baby groups from not being in touch with extended family members that help and support and build a village for a mum. All these things are really important for per perinatal mental health and positive well-being. For other mums, we recognise they might have a very different experience of the COVID-19 pandemic. It might have meant that people come into their family home that once were perhaps at work. Perhaps dad's around more than he could be with his work commitments before. Perhaps extended family members have moved in at the start of lockdown. It might be a time of connection with a baby or a child, pausing things and experiencing relationships in a different way. Being able to think about the differences for many mums can be an important part in trying to understand the perinatal mental health journey during this pandemic. And asking questions about that can be imperative. When we think about asking about a mum's maternal well-being, it's important that we think about the relationship with the baby and journey that they've been on. This can also bring barriers, feelings of guilt and shame about how they feel towards their baby or how they feel about their identity as a mum can emerge. We know that a mother's mask might be present and that there's a small door for disclosure in thinking about perinatal mental health. 
being compassionate, understanding and working closely alongside a mum to talk about some of these things from the outset can help and support a mum and her family. When we think specifically about the impact of COVID-19, there are certain areas we can be asking questions about. Have your relationships changed during the pandemic? Have your thoughts and feelings towards your baby changed? What is the home environment like now? And what's been helpful for you during this time? What has given you a sense of connection and joy in the pandemic? And what has been particularly challenging? All of these open questions can help a mum think about what this has been like and share that with a trusted professional. It's also really important when we're considering perinatal mental health that we assess any changes in risk. This is sometimes referred to as the perinatal red flags. We think about new thoughts or acts of violent self-harm, recent significant changes in mental state or new symptoms emerging, and also new and persistent expressions of incompetence as a mother and estrangement from the baby, wanting to escape, wanting to run away and having plans and intent around this. Thinking about these perinatal red flags and gathering information in a sensitive and compassionate manner is important. Having red flags doesn't mean that action needs to occur straight away, but sharing with a mum that some of these things might be a little bit of a worry and you're curious about knowing a little bit more about that. Listening to family members, they might be the people that see some of these red flags first. And it's our job as professionals to hear that and to respond to that. I want to end by saying thank you for listening to me speaking about perinatal mental health and in the context of COVID-19. I hope there's some things you can take away from this very brief spotlight video that might help and support you in your working role. But please do remember if you wish to discuss a referral or discuss a case of a mum and a family that you might be working with, your local perinatal team will welcome a conversation or a referral. The numbers are provided on our website so you can use that. We're here to listen to guide and also to help you as professionals as well as mums, babies and families. Please do take a look at some of our other spotlight videos and the resources that are available on our website. Thank you.